Hey Siri. Uh huh. Open garage door. Okay. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Close garage door. Okay. So here's another short video for the MyQ Connected Hub that uh, I just previously installed. There's a link to that right here. Uh, but anyway, um, one of the things I wanted to have was the integration with Siri. In a previous version, they actually had the MyQ bridge that connected to HomeKit. So that way you could enable it through your Apple devices through the HomeKit. But they're not supported anymore, the uh, bridge. And so I haven't been able to figure it out till this morning. And what I was able to do was download, download a piece of software uh, from the iPhone uh, app store. It's called LiveKey. Uh, it had a previous name to that. I can't remember what it actually is, but you basically install that application and then once you load it, you integrate it with the MyQ account. So you're syncing those two accounts together. And then once that's done, uh, you can go ahead and create two shortcuts, one for opening the garage door and the second one to close the garage door. And they work really well. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is go on the App Store and look up LiveKey. Once you have that, go ahead and install that application and click on the bottom here, plus, and add an integration. And then you're gonna go and find my Q openers. And then just go ahead and add that. And so at this point, it's asking you to synchronize your my Q account with your live key account. So you're gonna put in your my Q account so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll cut this piece out of the video. And there we go, it's updating the integration. And at the very top, it says one item is added, the MyQ. So we'll just go ahead and say done. Though that's the options you can do. So you're gonna go ahead and select on the garage door. And it's getting the status that the door has been closed for 13 minutes. And then the bottom part is what you can do. So I'm going to set a voice action. And it says this phrase, garage door, can be used to voice control your item. The phrase can be edited in either the Alexa app or by editing Siri shortcuts. Because this is actually going to create a Siri shortcut. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to Siri. And it tells you what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, hey, close garage door. The shortcut added. And then just go ahead and go done. And then you're gonna to wanna to do the open. So go ahead and click open and add Siri again. And same thing, it's gonna give you what you need to say. And you go ahead and done. And we'll just go ahead and close this. And we don't need to leave this open any longer, but I will show you in, in Apple shortcuts. So there's the shortcuts there. You can see we have open and closed door. And I'm just gonna get rid of these ones because I've added them multiple times in testing. Okay, so those are there. So now all we need to do is go ahead and ask her to, to do a function. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. I'm gonna say, hey Siri, uh -huh. open garage door. Done. Hey Siri, close garage door. Done. It does have a bit of a pause because normally if you have an unmodified MyQ device, it will flash and it will also make a beeping noise like there's a fire alarm going off for five, six seconds. 
So you just have to wait for that. And you can see it actually worked really well. And I didn't have that noise because uh, in a previous video, I actually disabled that. So if you're interested in knowing how to disable that, check out this video right here. And I also have another video that uh, shows you how to install the MyQ app and the device in your garage and setting it up. So you can check that out too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you'll get notified when I make more videos like this. Thanks.